What's up, guys? As some of you might know, on my stream, I like to let my viewers explode me. Yeah, it's crazy how. Help. Oh my. I think it's cool and fun and creative, and my viewers like it. So I figured I'd share with you guys how to do it so that you can do it on your own stream. I also haven't done a tutorial type video in a while, so I figured, hey, let's do it. So let's get started. You're going to need two things to be able to achieve this effect. You're going to need OBS, which I'm assuming you already have installed. Right? And you're going to need StreamerBot, which is a software that lets Twitch and OBS communicate. And it's like endless possibilities. It's a great software. And once they're both downloaded, we're going to have to do a little bit of a setup here. So for OBS, we do a new scene here. It's called it a swag. And then we're going to add a camera. We're going to add a microphone, input capture device. And we're going to add a audio capture device, which is your desktop audio. If you already have your input and output set up in your settings here, you might not have to do this. I just do it because I like to have more control over my audio. And now we're going to go to StreamerBot and set this up as well. There's two things you got to do. You got to go to your platforms, Twitch, accounts, and make sure your Twitch account is connected to your StreamerBot. And then right next to it in the stream apps, you're going to make sure that your OBS is connected. If you don't know how to do that, or you feel like you're a bit overwhelmed, here's a video that is going to help you. Hopefully um, it's going to be in the description. Nunny's a great teacher, much better teacher than I am. So go check him out. And now that this is all connected and you figured it out, there's one more thing we got to do. You're going to go to your Twitch dashboard and make a new um, channel point redemption. You're going to go to your custom rewards and make one that's called make yourself explode or something like that. I don't care. And once that's done, we're ready to start. Uh, we're going to open OBS and we're going to get an explosion. I would avoid using explosions from tragedies. So what I use is this explosion here. Man throws aerosol can in wood stove. <laughs> The sound of it is amazing and it's hilarious. So I take that one. By the way, they're okay. Look, they're, they la they're laughing here. <laughs> they're laughing, which means they're okay. We're all good. So you're gonna take this video and download it with whatever YouTube downloader you got. I'm personally using a 4K video downloader. It's pretty good, I like it. And then you're gonna take your editing software of your choice and then you're gonna crop the video so it's just the explosion. And then you're gonna take a 1920 by 1080 canvas and stretch the video to that canvas and then render it. And it should look like this. Perfect. So now we need to bring that into OBS. So you're gonna right click in OBS, get a media source, explosion, get your explosion in, and then make sure after that you click restart playback when source becomes active. You want it to be unchecked. Wait, I can't hear it. Why? I don't know why, but let's fix it. So as you can see, uh, it, it plays here in the 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 the, the audio playback, the audio meter. So you're gonna go here to these three buttons and you're gonna click advanced audio properties. And at explosion, you're gonna turn the audio monitoring to monitor only. So now only your stream could hear this explosion, but I like to hear the, the explosion personally because I wanna know when it's happening. So monitor only what it does is that you can hear it, but so can your stream because it's going through your desktop audio. So now if you play it, it's loud as fuck. So we're gonna turn down the audio here. Much better. So now that it's the explosion done, we just need to get it to be affected by an outside influence. We need to get your viewers to be able to interact with it. That's where StreamerBot comes in. So in StreamerBot, you can go to your actions. And you're going to right click and add a new action called explosion or whatever. I don't care. We're going to ignore the triggers for now and go to sub actions directly because sub actions is what does this do? And then we're going to tell it what to do. So what do we want it to do? We want to explode. So we're going to get the video to play. So we're going to go to OBS sources and set media state. By media, we mean the explosion video. So we're going to go to our scene swag explosion perfect and we're going to set it to restart i've always had problems when it's just play i don't know why so we're going to put it to restart so it replays the video so now this means boom but i like as well to have my mic cut off let's say i'm in the middle of a sentence and it explodes i want my sentence to be cut off so i'm going to set my mic to turn off and obs sources set source mute state and by source we mean microphone it's so going to go to swag mic and then muted and now that's pretty much it right explosion i'm dead and now what, right? We want the microphone to come back to life and then we want the video to shut off. So we're just gonna copy these, copy paste these, control C, control V. If it doesn't work, you can just right click, copy and paste the sub action. So for the media state, we're gonna just stop it. And for the microphone, we're gonna just set it to not muted. But now we need to make a delay in between those two events because the explosion lasts a couple seconds. Let's see how long it lasts. Around three seconds. Let's try three seconds. So we're going to right click core delay. What's a delay? 
you're stupid. So you're going to write 3000 because it's in milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds equals one second. Congratulations, you've graduated primary school. You're going to click enter. You're going to set it in between the two. So explosion, mute, wait three seconds, stop the explosion, unmute. Good so far, right? Make sure to save your progress here. So for the trigger, we want the, the Twitch redemption point to affect that. So we're going to go to Twitch, channel reward, channel redemption. Then we're going to choose the explosion one. And now we can test it. It's really good, but the microphone, let's do an instant replay on this. The microphone unmuted after the explosion was done. So I think we're just going to switch it to maybe two and a half seconds, 2,500 milliseconds. Perfectly on time. So now you got explosion for your, uh, your just chatting screen. That's perfect. But what if you want it to affect you as well when you're playing games like me? You have the camera on the side and then you explode. So then we have to do something more for that. Let me just show you how. So let's say you have a scene that's gamer and you want to have your camera right here. So what I personally do is this. I'm going to make a new scene called webcam nest. And in that new scene, I'm going to copy the explosion in the camera, control C and control V. You should know how to control C and control V. I know why I'm telling you this. So now we've got basically a scene itself with the camera and explosion. In the gamer one is where you want your webcam. So you can just import the scene itself. You're putting the whole scene in your new scene. So you're gonna grab the webcam nest, boom. So now this whole scene is in this gamer scene and you can just put it there for when you're gaming. But now you also need to affect the explosion that's within the webcam nest. So in streamer bot, you're just gonna copy the explosion and put it under it and you're just gonna change what scene it is in. So webcam nest, explosion, and we're gonna restart it. And then we're gonna copy the stop and we're gonna just set it to the other scene as well. And that's it, let's test it out. It works. So that's it. That's all. That's all there is to it. There's so many more things you can do with this software. There's many more things that I've personally done uh, on my stream. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover again, that seems complicated. I can show you how I did it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. What the fuck am I doing? Sorry, I thought about that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment for the algorithm. I don't know. And I, I hope you enjoy your new little thing to play with on your stream. Enjoy your streams. Enjoy your day. Mwah.